A Philadelphia drug dealer was arrested for selling packets of heroin stamped with a picture of a basketball player and the brand name LeBron James. Do illicit drugs usually carry brand names? Heroin does. It's difficult to comparison shop for heroin. Street dealers are always changing. The transactions are fleeting. And you can't easily judge a packet's purity by looking at it. So, in the 1970s, a few enterprising producers began stamping their wares with brand names. The stamp was supposed to be an assurance of consistent purity, making it possible to charge a premium and attract repeat customers. Most early brands suggested a hyper-pure product, with names like Death Wish, Kiss of Death, Suicide, or DOA. But unlike the many names of marijuana, which typically denote a strain of the plant or the locale where it was grown, heroin brand names are mainly a marketing trick. Given that fact, brand names became more vague over time, including Top Shelf and Magic. Makers also started using the names of popular films or celebrities. New Jack City heroin and even Tango and Cash heroin were briefly popular in the 90s. Heroin branding is more common in the eastern United States, possibly because the Mexican brown, popular out west, is difficult to adulterate. But no matter where they are, brands tend to be short-lived. And since there's no trademark protection for illicit drugs, copycats are common. Also, the repeat customer effect wears out after a few months. Many producers offer several brands at once to guard against a dealer's worst sales problem, losing street cred.